Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and Happy New Year. The start of 2013 means the start of conference basketball. Chatting with Tethany Carrillo, Elmhurst College women's basketball coach, prior to the start of the contest today, she said they're treating it as everybody is 0-0, almost the start of a second season, chance to start anew. That's what Elmhurst will try and do here today against a squad that likes to run up and down the floor. Extremely tough to prepare for the North Central College Cardinals. Elmhurst at six and five, North Central at seven and four. It's the CCIW opener as part of a doubleheader on this Wednesday night. Glad to have you alongside, I'm Tim Calderwood. Let's meet the starters for North Central. Michelle Todd, 5'8", junior. Bobby Johns, a 5'6", sophomore. Marissa Cladis, a 5'6", sophomore. Emily Murphy, a six foot senior. And Kimberly Wilson, a 5'9", freshman. North Central has taken over 50% of their shots from three-point range as we are underway. Elmhurst winning the tip. Elmhurst will try to find a way to slow down North Central. They'll have plenty of these looks. Fiona McMahon in tight scoring to open the contest. Fiona McMahon, Devin Vaughn, Tess Godhart, Karen Sinet, and Claire Monroe, the starters for Elmhurst. Here's the first three coming from North Central. It's Bobby Johns high off the glass. No, Devin Vaughn is underneath the control of rebound. North Central likes to trap. They give up plenty of easy layups. Here's Godhart streaking in for a score and a 4-0 start. They like to shoot threes, they like to trap, and they like to crash the glass hard, which is a strong point for Elmhurst, who coming off of a victory over Beloit, 85-55, scored the first 13 points of the game and finished plus 27 on the glass. Rebounding has been a strength for the Blue Jays all year. Strong to the rack, a dump off underneath, and Emily Murphy completes the bucket for North Central. You'll also see bodies coming in and out at will. There are five fresh ones at the scorer's table for North Central as they basically run in one-minute shifts. Two on one, Sinet to McMahon, outside the lane, up and in. Substitution timeout for North Central. A fresh five on the floor. Head coach of the Cardinals, Michelle Roof, said the program needed a new course this year. And that's why she has gone to this up-tempo style. If you're familiar with Division III basketball, the Grinnell men pioneered this system. Doug Porter, the assistant coach for North Central, came from Olivet Nazarene University down in Bourbon A. There's a shot blocked underneath, and he kind of patented the system a little bit towards the women and now has brought it with him as an assistant to North Central. Sinet trying to dribble out of trouble. I guess the good thing against the press is there's no 10 second call because it's already taken 10 seconds for Elmhurst to not even advance it past their own three point arc. Monroe looks to drive, falls to the floor and resets. Sinet is quickly surrounded. Godhart with eight to work with along the baseline. Flips out to Monroe, has to hurry. McMahon looking right side of the lane to beat the shot clock off the window and in. 
six points for Fiona McMahon. Two minutes in, an eight to two start for Elmhurst. Lauren Hernandez, freshly entered for North Central along with four other bodies. Kelsey Cooling is in. Likewise, Callie Rezin. Here's Fiona McMahon again wide open. And the Blue Jays break the press so easily. I saw North Central play earlier this season against Benedictine University as Rezin tosses one off to the left. In that ball game, a 96-91 victory for North Central. Benedictine had several two-on-ones and would not do what you saw a second ago. Tess Godhart came in strong. When the pressure came over, Benedictine pulled up and tried to take that shot rather than making the extra pass, leading to a potential layup. Fiona McMahon on her way to the stripe. Two shots coming for McMahon, who has been so strong for the Blue Jays thus far in the 2012-2013 campaign. McMahon at 13.3 points per game and 9.1 rebounds per night. Pausing for a moment here while Devin Vaughn finishes lacing her shoes. McMahon with nine points can reach double digits here and stretch it to a double digit Elmhurst lead early. And does. 17-25 in the first, it's all Elmhurst. They've had no problems handling this system from North Central. Coming off a screen, curling left, Jenny Swanson, three-pointer, catches the side of the rim. Godhart the rebound, and Godhart had Vaughn streaking, but slows it up instead. Vaughn back to Godhart, and a hand in the passing lane from Paula Elam. Off the bench for Elmhurst, Kim Schwertman. Schwertman returned from an injury. Averaging over nine and a half points per ball game. Scored 11 points in the win over Beloit last weekend. Trouble in the corner for Schwartman. Hands it off, here's Vaughn, too strong. Swooping in for the board is Elam. North Central looking to push a three on three. Stepping in, Elam 4-3, good. First three today for North Central. 523 pointers on the season for the Cardinals. They've hit 144 of those. And the ball will stay with the Blue Jays. Here comes five more for the Cardinals. Laren Shoemaker is the only new body to return. Everyone else has been on the floor previously. They'll do this all 40 minutes. Looking for McMahon, it's knocked away. Kimberly Wilson. Starts the offense for North Central. Easing onward, Bobby Johns lobbing towards the post. Jump stop in the lane and scores. That's Shoemaker, averaging 10.4 points per game off the bench for North Central, the leading scorer this year. Schwartman surrounded in front of the North Central bench, looking to clear out. North Central with a hand on it. Sinet lost the feed, and it's a steal. Here's a three on one. No look pass towards Shoemaker, too strong. Wide open underneath for a rebound, but unable to secure was Michelle Todd. Boy, there was not a single Elmhurst body in the vicinity either. If you're North Central, those are the rebounds you have to secure. But they've been out-rebounded this season by 11 per contest. Underneath it's Katie Swanson headed in the line. 15.45 to play in the first. Elmhurst was leading 12-2. North Central has scored five in a row. Swanson will try and change that here. Freshman out of Oak Forest, Illinois. Elmhurst for the season, 68% from the free throw line. 115 of 168. For Swanson, just one of two this year, 50%. She's appeared in eight of the 11 ball games this season. And the second free throw is in, 14-7. Claire Monroe returning here on Blue Jay TV. Doubleheader between the women and the men. That's a change to the CCIW schedule for 2013. Quick three from Kelsey Cooling is long. Godhart with the rebound, trying to dribble her way out of trouble. Sinet, quick feed towards Godhart, offensive foul. First whistle against Elmhurst. Took four and a half minutes. Previously in the CCIW, the teams had alternated with the women playing on a Tuesday and the men on a Wednesday or vice versa. 
this year they've decided to do the same thing that they do on the weekends now, which is play a double with the men and the women. Here's a three-pointer coming. Knocked around and loose in the paws of Monroe, who's able to fight it away. It's at least to start the season. There will be some changes in terms of how it plays throughout the course of the year. There'll be some Wednesdays where the men and women will be home and road, vice versa, playing the same team. Interesting how the schedule kind of changes year in and year out. Godhart outside the lane, may have had it partially blocked by Sophie Newson. Cooling on the take, pulls up, left it short, fights for the rebound, falling out of bounds into the Elmhurst bench, Newson able to save. Rezin with a fresh 30 to a wide open Hernandez, and she was too wide open, a travel. Line change North Central. Devin Vaughn back for Elmhurst. 14-32 in the first seven point advantage for the Blue Jays. Swanson ahead to Sinet, and she'll slow it up. Bouncing for Swanson down Main Street. Vaughn to the rack, and no good. But an athletic play by Godhart, tapping for the rebound as it's stripped away by Elam at the last moment. Here's Hoy for three. Off the rim, no good. Last touch by the Cardinals. Fiona McMahon returning for Elmhurst. McMahon seemed to be the big key for the Blue Jays early on. Double digit points already. CCIW opener across the conference. There's a turnover off the trap. And Elmhurst surrounds Murphy immediately to force a turnover as well and back the other way. That was three straight turnovers. North Park is at Augustana, Illinois Wesleyan at Wheaton, and Carthage at Milliken, the other games around the CCIW today. North Park and Wheaton, the leaders in the non-conference slate. Wheaton nine and one, North Park nine and two. Hoy with a second chance three, falls. 14-10, this is as close as North Central has come. Swanson too strong, but there's McMahon to clean up. North Central has scored 100 points on three different occasions this year, all victories, including 110, a school record and a win over Dominican. Second chance coming for Murphy, no good. Monroe surrounded, and it's knocked into the Elmhurst bench. North Central has not played since December 21st, but they were able to defeat Goucher by 14 points out in Las Vegas. Part of the Trip Sports Challenge out there. Their men were in Las Vegas last week. It was the part of the D3Hoops.com Classic. North Central's men are the number one team in the nation as of today. New top 25 poll out moments ago. And a foul in the lane. For as much as we like to talk about North Central shooting the three, they do kind of run a systematic approach if they don't have the opportunity for a quick three. Fouls on Devin Vaughn, her first, team's third. Well, Aaron Shoemaker to the free throw line out of Lena, Illinois. Up in the northwest corner of the state. Free throw good. One thing about this system that North Central runs, games have a tendency to run long, and there also tend to be a lot of whistles. 16-12, both free throws fall through for Shoemaker. There's the trap for North Central. McMahon lost the basketball. The steal and the layup for Johns is no good. Now Nikki Moan lost it. It's loose on the ground. A jump ball is called and the arrow with North Central. A big key to beating this trap is getting the ball into the hands of your guards. And I'm sure that's one of the things Tethy Carrillo will discuss right here during this 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here during this break with 13 minutes even to play in the first half. It's 16-12, Elmhurst with the lead. The Blue Jays have come out of the gates roaring here today, but credit to North Central hanging around, continuing to battle as they have pulled to within four. Let's take a quick look at the numbers here in the first half of this contest.
One thing about North Central as well with the system, they use timeouts, but kind of liberally. Your substitution timeouts more than anything else. It'll be North Central basketball out of the stoppage. Curling off of a screen comes Cladis dribbling in. Aiming cross court for Johns. And a trip up in the lane, but the ball is knocked away. Monroe comes free. Devin Vaughn leading the two on one. Skips her pass a little too low, looking for Nikki Moan. And Kimberly Wilson owns a steal. 12.40 to play, first half. Chance for North Central to be as close as they've been since the first buckets of this ball game. Nice low post move by Shoemaker to score, and it's 16-14. Here's Moan, waiting for help. Throws it away, recovers, it's out of bounds. And another turnover. Put some perspective into the turnover numbers. The opposition against North Central this year in 11 games has turned the ball over 351 times. You heard that right, 351. That's more than 30 a game. And it's a big reason why North Central is 7-4, and four, but the Cardinals turn it over here. Tethny Carrillo said that this is a completely different system to anything they see year in and year out. In fact, Elmhurst spent two days focusing on these Cardinals. Resin for three and the lead. Timeout Elmhurst, full one. Tethny Carrillo said we usually only spend one day focusing on our opponents and trying to get ready for the upcoming contests. Not the case here. They spent two days of practice looking at North Central and still weren't even really sure what to expect today. Right now it's 17-16 North Central. The Cardinals have come roaring back from down 12-2 with a 15-4 run and lead by one with 12.03 to play in the first. I'm Tim Calderwood. We'll step aside on Blue Jay TV. Elmhurst has taken two timeouts because the Blue Jays suddenly from up 10 now find themselves down and continue to do this. Turn the ball over. Dribbling in, Rezin hit a three moments ago for the lead. A little bit off target here. And possession will stay with Elmhurst for the time being as Tess Godhart enters. Mentioned I saw Elmhurst or Benedictine play North Central earlier this year. I've seen Benedictine play Elmhurst as well. Something that Benedictine realized is that they needed to go to a quicker lineup. Had to go with a lot more guards. Godhart pulls up and sinks from eight. That might be one of the reasons why Godhart has entered in place of Nikki Moen in the post. Beck looks to take. Has it knocked away, but into the paws of Murphy. Murphy on the strong side, left it short. Second chance coming for North Central. Around the arc we go. Plenty of time to work with. In the lane posting is Murphy, dangerously close to three seconds. Three pointer on the way from Hernandez splashes through. Lauren Hernandez has attempted 65 threes this year, shooting at 26% from bonus distance. North Central has a team at just 27%, but they'll trade those quick threes for layups. There's a second chance coming for Elmhurst, and Sinet will slow it up. As mentioning before the break, Tethy Carrillo said, usually we spend a lot of time worrying about what we're going to do. Had to spend more time focusing on the opponent here. 2018, Hernandez thought about it and resets. Beck with a head and shoulders move as it denied by Fiona McMahon. And a reach coming. Fiona McMahon with 22 blocks for Elmhurst in just 10 games, averaging over two per contest. Far and away the most for Elmhurst this season. Series notes for you. Elmhurst has beaten North Central in seven consecutive contests. 
They've gotten progressively closer throughout the series. And that streak specifically, last year it was a 63-60 win for Elmhurst in the final meeting of the season with North Central on February 1st. These teams will reprise on February 2nd at North Central, a 5 o'clock start. Devin Vaughn is crowded. Now Sinet in a trouble spot. Vaughn off to the races. Disturbed by Elam in front of the bench, throws it away. Through traffic, it's Hoy. On to the left side, Elam for three, well short. McMahon had the rebound but didn't secure. It's knocked out of bounds, it'll go to Elmhurst. That's the other thing about the boards, you have to be strong in your rebounding. Bring it into the body. Don't leave it out in front for North Central's defenders to put their hands upon. We'll pass the midway point of the first half. It's 20 to 18, North Central. Elmhurst breaks the press. Godhard in the right corner to McMahon, turning around too strong. McMahon's second chance is fouled from behind. And Fiona McMahon to the free throw line for Elmhurst. Not surprisingly, she has visited the free throw line 37 times this year. The second is Stephanie Mitchell on the Elmhurst roster. We haven't seen Mitchell yet today. Mitchell and McMahon kind of spell each other a little bit in the post throughout the course of the season. McMahon out of St. Charles, Illinois, allows the first one to fall through. 78% free throw shooter. Ranks first on the team, and you like to see that, especially if you're going to reach the line as many times as McMahon has been able to this season. And as I mentioned, Stephanie Mitchell, she is to the scorer's table. We'll check in for McMahon following the free throw, which is up and good. <laughs> McMahon to the bench with 14, more than half of the total for Elmhurst on the board in this 2020 game, with 9.41 to play in the half. Around the arc we go. Curling off a screen, Johns to take, looking to bounce into the post, knocked away. Godhart to her knees, dives on top. Vaughn will slow it up and has it knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Vaughn to North Central. Elmhurst already with 14 turnovers. My goodness. Thrown away. Swanson pressing, backing it up. Wide open, Sinet for three. Good. Another thing about this system. Tethany Carrillo said Elmhurst wanted to be very, very cautious with their three-point attempts. That is the first three-pointer that Elmhurst has attempted today. And North Central sees the three and answers with one of their own. This from Marissa Cladis. Mitchell, well off the mark. An air ball, in fact. Position for Bachman on the board. That was a quick shot. Need to find a way to work the offense and slow it down. Sophie Newson is on the deck. Third foul against Elmhurst. The second of those whistled against Devin Vaughn. And we'll have a fresh five coming for North Central. First, Sophie Newson to the line, a senior from Chicago. That's what's interesting about the senior class, and a lot of these players, for that matter, have kind of played conventional basketball previously, entering this season, having to completely rethink the way they played. Imagine that was difficult for the North Central staff to handle initially. 24-23, North Central on top. Newson hits the second. And now she'll depart for Michelle Todd. Michelle Todd, Lauren Hernandez, Emily Murphy, Callie Rezin on the floor for North Central, along with Kelsey Cooling. 
I'll reset those as many opportunities as I get. Tough to pick up five subs at a time. Godhart dribbling in, waiting, pulling up outside the lane and banks it home. You're forced into a point of decision with that two on one and Godhart opted to shoot. Hernandez with a three pointer short and position for Spencer on the rebound. Courtney Spencer with her first appearance. It'll be last touched by Hernandez out of bounds to Elmhurst with 8.05 to play in the half. Elmhurst in the sky blue, North Central in the red. Vaughn across half court. Blue Jays are careful not to put the ball on the ground, but Godhart has it knocked away. Michelle Todd with her arms in the air. Todd with the steal, North Central with numbers. It's Murphy outside the lane, hitting. 27-25. Elmer shooting 53% here in the first half, but trailing by two. North Central at only 30% in the contest. Stephanie Mitchell looking to take all by herself. Todd comes in last moment. Mitchell nearly walked. Will have a second opportunity and converts. Mitchell saw the pressure coming from Todd and forced the shot, but fortunately was in good spot for the rebound to finish and we're all square at 27. Katie Swanson with the foul. North Central averages over 90 points per game this year. The Cardinals surrender 82 a contest. Free throw short from Resin out of Rockford, Illinois. Second off the front iron, Spencer with the board. Elmhurst will also likely not be doing a lot of pressuring of North Central. And a blocking foul. Kim Schwartman ticketed for the free throw line. Schwartman a senior out of Wheaton, Illinois. If you think about it, this Elmhurst squad is really a young crew. Kim Schwartman and Stephanie Mitchell are seniors, that's it. Free throw is good. They don't have a lot of juniors either. Devin Vaughn is a junior, likewise for Nikki Schaefer, Haley Rowe, Karen Sinet a junior, but Karen Sinet transferred in this season from Judson University in Elgin. Another three, and it's good. Trouble, Spencer trapped. Schwartman with a mid-range J from 17 well short. And Shoemaker with a board, and we talked about how important rebounding is against this type of team. Taking a look at the numbers right now, the rebounds, Elmhurst with a huge advantage at 20 to nine, but not really converting. Swanson's three rims out. And it's Schwartman dodging traffic. McMahon off the glass, no. And timeout North Central, a substitution timeout. Erica Buck is on for North Central. Bobby Johns in there along with Kimberly Wilson, Emily Murphy. And a three pointer is blocked from Marissa Cladis, who is the other member of the Cardinals. Ball is loose, stays with Elmhurst. 5.48 to play in the first, North Central up a point. I would say for the most part, Elmhurst has done a very good job at slowing down North Central here in the opening 20. Yeah. 
McMahon underneath to the corner. Shortman tracking, three-pointer. Long from Monroe, off the feet of Spencer to North Central. And again, when you hit those three-pointers, kind of falling into the hands of North Central a bit. And actually they'll stay, it stays with Elmhurst, only seven on the shot clock. Change of mind for Paul Furking, the official underneath the basket. Spencer with a third three-pointer for Elmhurst, perfect. A rainbow falls home and a steal from Schwartman. One on two denied. Probably should have waited for some help, but tried to go strong against Buck. 32-30, Elmhurst on top. Paul for King Salvasta, Corky Schreiner, the officials from this one. Schwartman, knifes to the rack, no. Good look, however. Todd corralling the board for North Central. Cooling thought about it. Schwartman with some pressure, nearly forcing the turnover, and somebody forgot about Cooling is wide open. Kelsey Cooling averaging a touch under eight points per ball game. Again, a lot of players will see time in this system. You're looking at 12 players who all average over four points per game. There's really only two players for North Central who have not seen significant time this year. Now it's Sinet with a three. That corner has been open. McMahon underneath, switches hands and converts. 34-32, Elmhurst on top. Resin to the hardwood. Cooling hesitates and now tries. And a foul on Cooley, knocking down Sinet. Swanson replaces Spencer, five more for North Central. North Central's last game mentioned a win over Goucher. Goucher out of Indiana, an NAIA program that was out in Las Vegas. 52 three-pointers in the contest. Hit only 13 of those, however. Tess Godhart on the take. 36-32, wide open. Swanson will attempt the long one. And Tess Godhart flanked, able to dribble through. Sinet slows it up. Elmhurst has done its best so far in the contest when they've been able to slow down and run an offensive system. Last touch by Hoy. Swanson for three. Yes, indeed. That's the third three-pointer for Elmhurst today. And initially hesitating was Swanson, putting it on the ground and driving through to score. 39-34, ball is loose. McMahon diving on top, has it for Elmhurst. Here's Godhart, one on two. Godhart with a strong take, up and under, but a travel. And Godhart cannot believe it. Arms in the air in disbelief. Line change, North Central. Clattis amongst those entering for the Cardinals. There's a lot of ebbs and flows in these games as well. That system can get you behind, and it can also allow you to play catch up very quickly. So we saw following the early double-digit Elmhurst lead. Closing in on three minutes to play. Swanson pulls up and hits. 17-footer. And now Elmhurst sprinting back on defense. Todd starts to move. Leaves it for John. She'll take and collide with Godhart. It'll be the second on Tess Godhart, who owns eight points here in the first half for Elmhurst. To the line steps Bobby Johns. 
sophomore from Loves Park, Illinois. Played in 25 games last year. Started three of those. First free throw is in. Career best is 10 points for Johns. Who on the season is 20 of 26 from the free throw line, sitting at 77% amongst the leaders for North Central. Second is just like the first, with 2.53 to play, it's 41-36. The free throws allow North Central an opportunity to set up the trap, and Elmhurst makes it look easy. Swanson bounces for McMahon, who waits and scores. 18 first half points for Fiona McMahon. Clattis for three. Glanced off the iron. Ahead to Sinette, she'll take all by herself and score. 45-36, Elmhurst by nine. Johns responds. And a substitution timeout for North Central. I believe that's the third substitution timeout. And yes, those do count as regular TOs. So you just have to make sure that one of your assistant coaches is constantly tracking those numbers. In fact, I see an assistant on the North Central bench with a stopwatch who's probably keeping track of how long each of these players is on the floor at a time before switching out. Ball is loose, collected by Murphy, no good, but cleaning up, cooling on the weak side with a board and bucket. And a turnover for Elmhurst. It's just over two minutes to play in the half. Seventeen turnovers in the first for Elmhurst. This is a Blue Jays squad that has turned it over just 172 times this season. Seventeen a ball game. Cooling crisscrosses, tosses it up from eight in and out. McMahon is there, here comes Elmhurst three on one. Shortman skipping for Spencer, out to Vaughn at the elbow. Vaughn has it knocked away and it's tapped ahead to the wide open, Cooling. Shortman reaches in and cut across, glancing the arm as well. That'll be the sixth foul on Elmhurst, but if you're the Blue Jays, I think you'd take the foul there because you don't have free throws as a result. It gives your defense an opportunity to set up, or will they have free throws? I guess they'll say that Cooling was in the act of shooting. No. Sal Vasta, I think, is overruling the call. Cooling was trying to influence the officiating crew. Forty-five forty. But less than two minutes to play in the first half. Around the arc we go, out pops Hoy, quick trigger, short. McMahon volleyballs the rebound out of bounds, but it's last touched by Shoemaker in North Central. A buck 33 to play in the half. Stays with Elmhurst. Karen Sinet off the bench, replacing Vaughn. Technic Carrillo wants Elmhurst to stack here. The lineup whirl and break as McMahon sets the screen for Sinat along the baseline. Sinat head up, looking for help, picks up the dribble. Throws it away. Well short, Beck with the steal, and now Beck's entry pass is knocked away by McMahon. Here's McMahon cruising in for the easy two. 20 points for McMahon in the half. 47-40 Elmhurst as we close in on one minute to play in the first. Out of control is Elam underneath and a walk. Line change North Central. Scott Davis off the bench telling Elmhurst to stop reaching. Need to be careful now because North Central is in the bonus. Both teams, in fact, are in the bonus for the final minute of the half. Surprisingly, not a lot of whistles. 
This kind of pressure oftentimes leads to a lot of foul trouble. Here's McMahon with a nice spin move. 49-40. Wide open underneath. Murphy with a jump stop. Couldn't connect. Sinetta across half court. 35 seconds to play in the first. Swanson up high, Sinet dribbling in. Floats one from 12 and it falls. 11 point lead for Elmhurst is the biggest of the half. Three pointer is well short. Kimberly Wilson never set. McMahon with another rebound. Shot clock is dark. Elmhurst can hold for the final shot. Spencer inside of 10, targets McMahon, who will head to the free throw line. Following the seventh team foul on North Central, Johns is guilty. That's her first. Huge first half for McMahon with 22 points. She's a perfect four of four from the free throw line. As the sophomore readies for the one and one. Good. McMahon has taken huge steps forward from last season to this year, needing to kind of step up a bit as Elmhurst graduated a couple of players in the post a season ago. She did appear in all 25 games, including two as a starter. But from 6.4 points per ball game to 13 points a game, you're talking about doubling your points per game, and she's averaging three and a half more rebounds per contest as well. 13-point lead, North Central will have an opportunity, and free throws coming for Johns. Second foul on Kim Schwartman. Bobby Johns to the line for North Central. We'll have one more here to try to bring North Central within 11 as we head towards the locker room in moments. A change up in the post. Wave it off. No, actually it's on Elmhurst. Or is it? No, they'll say it's on North Central. Couldn't tell who Paul for King was signaling against. So basically a turnover, two seconds left. Monroe will allow time to expire. Huge first half for Fiona McMahon, who will head to the locker room with 22 points for Elmhurst, who leads by 12 at 53-41. Elmhurst was off to a strong start against North Central's Difficult system, led by double digits early, only to watch as North Central came back and grabbed the lead at the midway point of the half. But a late run for Elmhurst in the first has allowed the Blue Jays to take a double digit lead into the locker room. We'll step aside on Blue Jay TV numbers in the second half coming your way in a few. This is Blue Jay TV.
Calderwood. Tim Calderwood from RA Fagenal Hall. Wednesday evening, it's the CCIW opener for both North Central and Elmhurst. Let's take a look at some numbers. Elmhurst leading 53-41 at halftime. A couple of numbers standing out specifically. We begin with the rebounds. Told you that's always a key. And Elmhurst with a huge rebound margin in the last victory for the Blue Jays over Beloit. Elmhurst is plus 19 at halftime, 33 rebounds to 14. And perhaps most remarkably, only seven of those rebounds have been on the offensive end, which means that in terms of second chance points, Elmhurst does have 11 compared to just eight for North Central. Elmhurst shot 57% on the first half, 20 of 35, three of five from three point range, and a perfect 10 of 10 from the free throw line. North Central was 14 of 45 from the field, six of 22 from three point range, and seven of nine from the stripe. Some other numbers for you, points in the paint, Elmhurst with a 28-14 edge in that department. Fast break points, Elmhurst 12, North Central nothing. Elmhurst up by a dozen at the break. It'll be Blue Jay basketball to start. Elmhurst in the sky blue unis as Monroe triggers a quick three and hits off the cross court feed from Devin Vaughn. Elmhurst with its largest lead at 15, 56 41. North Central will continue with its quick substitutions back and forth, I'm sure. Cardinals with the starting five Michelle Todd, Bobby Johns, Marissa Cladis, Emily Murphy, and Kimberly Wilson on the floor. It's Cladis stepping to the free throw line. Leading scorer for North Central in the first half. Six points from Laren Shoemaker. Six points as well from Amanda Hoy. A lot of balance across the board for the Cardinals. Played 17 players in the first 20 minutes. 56-42, one of two for North Central. Here comes Elmhurst racing ahead. And Monroe lost it. Starters for Elmhurst are back as well. Fiona McMahon with 22 points. Devin Vaughn, Tess Godhart, Karen Sinet, and Claire Monroe. Missed three, rebound to Monroe. Now, something to keep in mind, it's possible Fiona McMahon, who scored 22 points in the first half, could potentially challenge the Elmhurst and CCIW single game scoring record. Set by Lindsey Long and went over Carthage as McMahon now has 26 points. A huge first half. Todd in the lane, too strong, and McMahon with the board. Fiona McMahon had six rebounds in the first half as well. After McMahon's 24, Tess Godhart with eight. Karen Sinet, Katie Swanson, seven apiece. There's a turnover. Elmhurst turned the ball over 19 times in the first half. It led to 14 North Central points. What a good job to draw the charge. First half of play, we had eight lead changes and five ties. There is a change for North Central. Devin Vaughn as it's swatted away. Fiona McMahon underneath and in. 28 points for McMahon. Again, other action today. North Park is at Augustana. Illinois Wesleyan at Wheaton. And Carthage at Milliken. In the lane, Shoemaker scores. Talking with some of the faithful congregated here at halftime, and one of the interesting things I think is the fact that you look at this North Central team and well they actually do a very good job of running offense versus not only kind of shooting up the three pointers at will. 62-44, here's Devin Vaughn off the feed from Senate to strike. Elmhurst is making it look easy in transition. Hernandez targeting Shoemaker in the lane, bothered by McMahon defensively. Godhart will punch the rebound away, and here's Devin Vaughn, unescorted, had a chance for a layup, waited for Godhart, dumped it to her, missed it, but Vaughn is there to finish up. 
And a timeout for North Central. Just a substitution timeout, though, with 17-17 to play. And Elmer's now in front by 22. We'll check in on the scores. Just three minutes remaining in the Wheaton-Illinois Wesleyan game. Wheaton is up 11, 63-52. That is being contested at Wheaton today. Jenny Swanson, who has entered, leaves it for Elam, dropping into the corner for Murphy, who hits the mid-range jumper. Here's Vaughn for Godhart outside the paint and connects. And again, the Blue Jays continue to make it look easy. Three-pointer from Elam, way short. Godhart with the board. Turnover, stepping back is Swanson in the corner. The three-pointer won't fall. And a foul on the rebound. North Park leads Augustana 43-37. There's only 30 seconds left in that one. North Park looking for a strong start to the CCIW slate, a vastly improved program under head coach Amanda Reese. They've slowly made strides under Reese and now are looking potentially like a CCIW tournament team. Top four will reach the CCIW tournament at the end of February. McMahon, turnaround Jay, in and out. And a foul on the rebound. First on McMahon, second against Elmhurst. Todd rotates left. Wilson around the arc. Patience here for North Central, down by 20. Shoemaker denied by McMahon. Fiona McMahon with two blocks in the first half for Elmhurst. Shot clock winding down. Todd tosses it up and a friendly roll. Schwartman racing ahead, leading a three on two all the way to the hole. No good, but there's McMahon. Her second opportunity rattles off too strong to the weak side. Now it's Bobby Johns looking to take all the way off the side of the backboard. Devin Vaughn leading the break. Vaughn with a three on one, pulls up, no good. Rebound is swatted out of bounds to North Central. Timeout on the floor, it's a full one with 15.31 to play. We'll step aside as well. Elmhurst with a strong start to the second half. Pulls in front by 20 on Blue Jay TV. Last season, Elmhurst finished 7 and 7 in the CCIW. North Central was only 1 and 13. But that perhaps one of the biggest reasons for the change in styles for North Central this year to try to make some forward progress in the CCIW. Elmhurst lost out on a tiebreaker to Milliken for the fourth and final CCIW tournament slot. But the Blue Jays starting anew following a 6 and 5 non-conference slate. Tethy Carrillo, Elmhurst head coach, said that the Blue Jays are treating this almost like a Completely new start. Everybody is 0 and 0. 
And it's a strong start for the Blue Jays indeed, who lead by 20 with 15-22 to play. Cali Rezin triggering for North Central and threw it away. Right off the shoulder of Kelsey Cooling, who was never looking for it. Tess Godhart returns for Elmhurst. North Central will set up the press. Short men in front of the Elmhurst bench, trapped, looking for Godhart, knocked out of bounds. Staying with the Blue Jays, 22 on the shot clock. Tanisha Ellington, who did not appear in the first half, is all over Schwartman. Face guarding off of the inbounds pass, leads to a steal. Lauren Hernandez pulls up and banks it home. 68-50. Well, don't think the system necessarily works in a positive way for you. A lot of times it does, but you can also have it work against you in many, many ways, as has been the case with North Central on a few occasions this year. They were blown out by Wisconsin Oshkosh in Las Vegas, 95-75. That's really the only blowout against North Central. The system really gives you an opportunity to hang in a lot of ball games. Spin move for Murphy who strikes. And all of a sudden North Central's within 16. Trying to trap Monroe, it's a jump ball. Arrow to North Central, oh boy. Fiona McMahon returns for Elmhurst, was referencing the CCIW and Elmhurst single game scoring record. Belongs to Lindsey Long, who scored 45 points in a game against Carthage in 2010. It was actually a loss nonetheless. And a little confusion here, whose ball is it? There we go. Arrow was with North Central, but it seemed like no one wanted to come out and take control. And it's an easy layup for Michelle Todd. 14 point margin, 68-54. Hope you're enjoying 2013 thus far. Sinet feeds Godhart. Todd is on her defensively, but Godhart still finds a way to connect. Rolling on through, 70-54. Elam strong, left it short. Fiona McMahon cleans up for the Blue Jays. Here is McMahon bouncing. McMahon calling. Godhart on the take. Flanked along the baseline, clearing out, and Elmhurst will run the offense. Shot clock at 15, but a travel. And we have a line change for North Central. Marissa Cladis, along with Bobby Johns in. Likewise for Laren Shoemaker, Kimberly Wilson, and Sophie Newson. 16-point Elmhurst lead. Wilson high right. Three-pointer is an air ball. An attempt to punch the rebound from Bobby Johns, but she missed time the leap. Out of bounds to Elmhurst. Michelle Roof on the North Central bench. The head coach is in the ear of Paul Furking. Turnover, scoop and score for Cladis in the lane. Here comes the trap. Todd Sherman, the Elmhurst assistant, told me this was the thing they spent the most time working, was trying to set up a trap similar to North Central so that Elmhurst could create opportunities to break it. Here's another turnover. It's a three on one the other way. Open for a three is Wilson. Air ball, might have been a pass right. Underneath, a spin move, and Shoemaker pulls North Central within 12 at 70-58. And a lot of basketball to play, still 13 minutes left. Sinet dribbling along the baseline, picks it up, and flips it ahead. Here's McMahon easing her way to the rack, scoring 30 points for Fiona McMahon. Let the countdown begin. She's 15 away from the CCIW single game record. McMahon may have gotten a piece of the three-point attempt from Cladis, but two shots coming as Shoemaker was contacted on the way up. Second personal foul charge to Karen Sinet. 
Aaron Shoemaker on her way to the free throw line. Played 22 games last year as a freshman for North Central. A couple of double digit contests. Career best 14 against North Park. Average 3.8 points per game, but her free throw is well short. Shoemaker in the first half was two of two from the line. Season high total this year is 22. That was against Goucher. The second free throw is good. Five double-digit games for Shoemaker, who departs as North Central brings upon a fresh five. In and out, in and out. Lots of players involved. It's a staple of the system. Again, the system pioneered by Grinnell. We'll say pioneered. Grinnell is the pioneers. And you may have noticed earlier this season there was some national attention to Grinnell because a player in the system set an NCAA single-game scoring record with 138. Foul is on Kelsey Cooling, her third, team's third as well. Actually saw in Sports Illustrated this week a nice little piece on it. Haven't had the chance to read it yet. I obviously have my own thoughts on that system game, which led to 138 points from Jack Taylor. Basket is good for Kim Schwartman. Return from an early season injury to help in a 30-point win over Beloit with 11 points. This is just her fifth game of the year, trying to finish the three-point play and does. 12-15 remaining, Elmhurst by 16. Back corner left, on the move, up and under, denied by McMahon, who clears out with the board as well. Such a huge presence when she gets her arms up in the air at six foot one in the post. Devin Vaughn walks. And a line change for North Central. Everyone who has dressed has appeared in the contest for North Central. Hoy races towards the corner. Swanson spotting up, open three. Awful look. Was left wide open, but never really squared. And now bounces into the block and a travel as Shoemaker never quite gained her footing along the baseline. 11.42 remaining. Katie Swanson having problems. Ball stays with Elmhurst. Very distraught Michelle Roof along the North Central sideline. Courtney Spencer strutting across. 11 and a half remaining. Fiona McMahon is posting and wants the ball. Here instead is Schwartman. Schwartman takes no good. McMahon second chance off the mark. Third opportunity coming. It was Spencer with the board and Spencer on her way to the line. Spencer, a freshman out of Rolling Prairie, Indiana. Appearing in just the sixth contest this season. First free throw is good for Spencer. Second attempt is just like the first. Men's contest scheduled for a 7.30 tip tonight here at R.A. Faginal Hall. Same two teams, Elmhurst and North Central. North Central today named the number one team in the country in the most recent D3Hoops.com top 25 poll, which was released just hours ago. They'll take to the floor for the first time as the number one team in the land. And a turnover, Swanson had to hurry. Ellington up and under. Tried to throw it off of Ellington, instead put it in her paws. 
Ellington was able to score, 16 point margin. Here's Spencer spotting up and trickling off to the right on the 10 footer. Away comes North Central again. Cladis has her three denied. Newson will take to the rack and score. Good crowd is building for this one. And another turnover for Elmhurst as well. Ellington strikes. And we have a timeout. It is a full timeout on the floor. Elmhurst has turned the ball over 29 times in the game. And with 10.27 to play is only up by 12 despite leading by as many as 22 here in the second half. 77-65 is our count. Back with more in moments on Blue Jay TV. It's opening night in the CCIW. Elmhurst on top of North Central, 77-65. Some other scores, Carthage pulling away from Milliken with inside of five minutes to play. It's 78-53, Carthage with the advantage. North Park has won on the road at Augustana, 46-38 to open conference play. Tess Godhart able to strike. And Wheaton hung on at home to beat Illinois Wesleyan, 66-62. That is a final now as well. Callie Rezin left it short, but a cleanup on the weak side of the floor. Emily Murphy with a putback. Elmhurst continues to lead by a dozen on the board. Fiona McMahon with 30 points for the Blue Jays. Not on the floor currently. Scratch that she is. Just a little late making her way in towards the bucket. And racing at it is Monroe to no avail. Over to North Central with a chance to pull within 10 or less with a three. The Cardinals are just six of 30 from three point range tonight. Elam. Shovels for Shoemaker, turning around over the top of McMahon to pull North Central within 10 with 9.28 remaining. Godhart throws it away. Hoy comes up. And an offensive foul is called. Godhart is a little shaken up as she rolls over on the floor. Hoy took too long to commit, waited until the last moment. Godhart is still down. She was banged up in the preseason, I know, for Elmhurst. And looking at the left arm as the trainer comes on along with Teth and Carrillo, the head coach for Elmhurst here in the second half with 9.15 to play. Again, coming up in a little while, it's Elmhurst and North Central in men's basketball action. North Central a perfect 11-0 and ranked number one in the nation. North Central is the third different team to be ranked number one this year. Massachusetts Institute of Technology started as number one. Following behind them was Virginia Wesley, and ironically, both teams have taken quite the stumble. MIT is out of the top 25. Virginia Wesleyan is in at number 23. North Central hoping that they do not follow suit. Another thing that's safe to say is that probably at some point this year, we may see another number one team because it has been an eternity since a CCIW team has run the table unblemished in conference play. But the Cardinals with a strong non-conference showing have positioned themselves potentially to be hosting 
in March when the NCAA tournament is announced. North Central shooting 38% in the ball game. Elmhurst at 57 here tonight. Elmhurst has overcome 31 turnovers, leading by 10, but North Central moving ever so closer here with nine minutes and change remaining. Monroe ahead to Vaughn, slowing it up. Vaughn looks for McMahon, off the window and in. Fiona McMahon, if you're wondering, and I know you are, had 30 points earlier this year in a win against Westminster, 86-79. She has 32 tonight, a new career best, bettering that 30-point total from December 14th. 8.40 left. It's Sinet easing across. McMahon wants the basketball. Why not continue to go to the hot hand? However, the entry pass was knocked away, and a foul is called. It'll be against Elmhurst on McMahon with a push in the back. Mind change, North Central. Enter Wilson, Murphy, Cladis, Beck, and Johns. The five for Elmhurst, Monroe, Sinet, Vaughn, McMahon, and Schwartman. Wilson trying the right side of the lane as it blocked by McMahon. Rebound loose, jump ball called. Arrow with Elmhurst. Eight twenty left. Close to a five second call. Elmhurst waited until the last possible second. Sinet pulls up. 20 to work with for the Blue Jays. 81-71, it's knocked out of bounds. Most points Elmhurst has scored in a game this season, 90. That was against Dominican in the season opener back on November 15th. Safe to say the Blue Jays will eclipse that total here today. McMahon takes a rest. Good to see Tess Godhart returning following the momentary shakeup. And with 8.04 to play, Elmhurst will inbound. Sinet backing up, calling for help. Vaughn looks for Godhart. Off the glass, no. Vaughn swats at the rebound and controls. Fresh 30 for Elmhurst, who so will use some clock here. Schwartman picks up the dribble. And a travel. Kim Schwartman scored 15 points, her season high total, in the win over the Milwaukee School of Engineering on November 17th. That was in the second game of the year. 7.40 to play. North Central with a chance to pull within double digits for the first time in this second half. Elam fakes right, moves left. No good. Underneath, counted in a foul for Shoemaker on the second chance opportunity. In the first half, only six offensive rebounds total for North Central, leading to eight second chance points, but a big two on the putback for Shoemaker, who is looking for more with a free throw to try and pull North Central within seven. 7.31 left. Third foul on Tess Godhart. And the free throw is good. 81-74. Schwartman controls. Able to swoop it on in. And no good on the finish attempt from Schwartman. Here comes North Central. Shoemaker slings it cross court to the open. Cooling for three. Oh boy, here we go. Buckle up, 81-77 with seven minutes to play in this one. North Central is trailed by as many as 22 here in the second half. Godhart playing catch with Schwartman, unable to strike. Offensive rebound for Schwartman who dribbles out of the lane and a timeout for Elmhurst. Tethney Carrillo will have only one timeout remaining. 
Is it a full, is it a 30? It's a 30, we'll keep it here with 6.45 to play. One more check for you, looks like inside of a minute, Carthage 83, Milliken 57. So in CCIW action tonight, North Park won on the road at Augustana. Wheaton winning at home over Illinois Wesleyan. It looks like Carthage will win on the road at Milliken and Elmhurst trying to defend its home floor. The stiff challenge coming from a vastly improved North Central team running a completely different style of basketball than they have in the past. Tim Calderwood with you on Blue Jay TV. Again, 7.30 start scheduled for the Elmhurst men and the North Central men. You can hear some basketballs bouncing on the auxiliary floors to the right beyond the screen. Devin Vaughn throws it away. Hoy off to the races, left hand dribble to Murphy in the corner. And North Central sets up. Here's Newson on the take. Dumps it for Murphy, no good. Here's Elam, second chance, too strong. Elam in the lane again, has it poked away. And Spencer collects for Elmhurst. Six fifteen and a turnover into the scores table. My goodness. 35 turnovers for Elmhurst today. North Central came into the contest forcing turnovers at over 30 a contest. 351 on the season. Elmhurst looking for its eighth consecutive win against North Central. Held ball. Possession stays with North Central. Looks like Fiona McMahon is ready to return for Elmhurst. And North Central will execute a line change here. Actually, just one sub. It's the first time we've seen a single sub. It's Kelsey cooling off the pines. 6.04 to play. Newson working on Swanson. Left it short. McMahon the board. 12 rebounds for Fiona McMahon, 32 points. A career-high point total. Ball is on the floor. We have a whistle coming from the trailing official. What is the call? Looks like it'll be against Elmhurst. On Swanson. One and one for Amanda Hoy. Freshman out of Maine West High School, averaging four and a half points per ball game. No good. Swanson tied up. It will spin away from trouble. McMahon giving chase in the corner. Spencer is contacted. Courtney Spencer, a four-year varsity player at New Prairie High School in Indiana. Three times was named to the all-conference squad, including a first-team choice as a junior and a senior. Sizes up the free throw and connects. Finished sixth in school history in scoring at New Prairie High School. Spencer, three of four at the free throw line this season. Elmhurst has been very strong from the stripe today, a perfect 14 of 14. And make it 15 of 15. 5.38 to play, six point lead. Hernandez shovels to the right side, long three from Cooling. Banks high off the side of the rim. McMahon claws. Swanson wraps it around the defense. In the lane, McMahon strikes again. 34 points and 13 rebounds for Fiona McMahon. All alone is cooling along the baseline. And McMahon with a block, I think on the follow through, caught a piece of Shoemaker. She did have a clean block initially, but rather than leaving those arms straight up in the air, kind of followed through and caught a piece of Shoemaker. 
who will step to the line. Shoemaker with 16 points for North Central today. One of two players in double digits for the Cardinals. Free throw is up and no good. Shoemaker four of six at the line. Switch it out for the Cardinals with 5.06 to play. Emily Murphy, by the way, is the other North Central player in double figures at 10. Second toss through, and Shoemaker will exit. Elmhurst lines it up. Godhart picks up the dribble. And the crowd was looking for a double dribble, as was the North Central staff. Godhart will take it to the basket. No, McMahon is there. Her second chance won't follow. Godhart's third opportunity, no good. And Godhart will make her way to the line for the one and one. The inability to rebound, hurting North Central late. Elmhurst was plus 19 against the Cardinals in the first half. For the game, they are plus 23 against North Central. Tess Godhart at the free throw line with 16 points, looking for more. It's a seven point lead for Elmhurst. Inside of five minutes, Godhart swish. Sophomore from Hinkley, Illinois, averaging 12.2 points per game, second on the squad. Won a couple of state titles. In fact, her high school head coach is here watching. I think there's four players from that back-to-back -back state championship crew that are now playing college basketball somewhere. Likes to go check them out, watch some basketball. Got a kick, staying with North Central at 440. Nine-point advantage for Elmhurst, 87-78. Again, the season-high total in points for the Blue Jays is 90. 78's a pretty good defensive day. Three-pointer from Wilson off target. Tried to follow her shot. Sinet strips away the board. And Spencer will slow it up. Spencer, though, is trapped along the near sideline. It's a jump ball, and possession remains with Elmhurst. The lowest points in a game this season for North Central actually came in a win against Alma College of Michigan. 70-67 was the final. After that, 75 and that 20 point loss to Wisconsin Oshkosh that I was referring to earlier. 15 to shoot. Swanson looking for Godhart, drawing a crowd, swatted away by Todd, ball is free and dribbling out of control. All alone, it's Spencer to the baseline. Up and in, 11 point game, 89-78. Hernandez along the baseline, flips to Cooling in the corner, a three pointer, no good. Godhart taps the rebound out, falls to the floor, rebound in the arms of Rezin. Drawing the crowd, tossing in the lane, McMahon again with a clean block, but may have gotten a piece on the follow through. That's the tough part about being a shot blocker. You go up with those arms and you try to block a shot in that swatting motion. A lot of times you'll get a lot of the basketball, but on the follow through, you'll catch a piece of the body. 3.35 to play, Shoemaker at the stripe. Laren Shoemaker on three occasions has led North Central in scoring this year. Most recently with those 22 points against Goucher out in Las Vegas. First of those came in a 110-68 win over Dominican on December 15th. Dominican still winless. Shoemaker actually had a double-double in that game with 16 and 10. Second attempt is up, and it follows suit. 89-80 with 3.35 to play. Sinet backing up, trying to ease her way around trouble. In a good spot right now, looking to avoid a trouble spot. 
Stepping away from the baseline. Spencer reels it in. Swanson bouncing to McMahon. Yes, indeed, 36 for McMahon. She's nine away from the single game scoring record set by Lindsey Long, who I see is in attendance here this evening. Newson three-pointer, top of the arc, no good. Murphy with a rebound, lost it. Away comes Shortman on the steal and a foul on a reach. Line change for North Central. Elmhurst has done this consistently here in the second half. They've dropped everybody back on defense when shooting free throws to try and prevent any odd player rushes. 3.03 remaining. Free throw is no good from Schwartman. It's conceding the rebound, but it makes sure that you do not allow an easy layup in transition. Shoemaker working on McMahon. Flips it to Resin in the lane. Hesitating, three seconds. Twenty-first turnover for North Central. I would told you that North Central turned the ball over 21 times and yet they would finish plus 15 right now in the turnover department. I think you'd be surprised. Then again, as several people have mentioned throughout the course of the day, this is not your typical basketball being played on the floor. But that up-tempo style for North Central. Double bonus now for Elmhurst. Karen Sinetta Jr. out of Anchorage, Alaska misses the first. Sinetta at 6.9 points per ball game. Joined the Blue Jays this season following two years as a starter at Judson. Has stepped into the starting lineup for Elmhurst as well. Ninety-two, eighty, with 2.45 left. The Elmhurst bench starts to make some noise. Todd to the basket and free throws coming. North Central is number one nationally in scoring at over 90 points per ball game. But trailing by 12 presently. Michelle Todd hits the first. Todd a returner for North Central out of DeKalb. Second free throw is no good. Join North Central from Kishwaukee Community College. Shortman will cruise in and it's blocked by Todd. But similar to what we've seen on the opposite end of the floor, a piece of the body on the follow through will lead to free throws for Kim Shortman. Tethany Carrillo will use this opportunity to gather a couple of players and draw something up here to break the press. Elmhurst, who was a perfect 15 of 15 to start from the free throw line, has been struggling a little bit here of late. Still 18 of 21 for the day. Schwartman able to split the pair, 93-81. 2.25 left, resin to the corner. Left hand dribble, crisscross, flips out to cooling, three pointer, perfect. 93-84, it's a nine point game. McMahon traveled. Line change north central. Tess Godhart, Courtney Spencer, Katie Swanson returning for Elmhurst as well. <laughs> Newson locates Elam. Three pointer, no good. McMahon could not control the rebound. A foul is called. What do we have here? 
Corky Schreiner heading to the scorer's table and revealing a foul against Elmhurst. It's the fourth on Karen Sinet. Two shots for Jenny Swanson. First is good. Swanson, a senior, averaging just under 10 points per ball game for the Cardinals. Out of Oak Forest. Hits both of them. Started 21 games last year. Three-year letter winner for North Central. Fiona McMahon is wide open. Just brings it in. Controls. Allows some clock to melt away. Less than two minutes to play. 93-86. Godhart along the baseline. Looks for the cutting Swanson. Too short. Godhart fights for the rebound. It'll ping pong around and stay with Elmhurst. Line change North Central. Again scheduled for a 7.30 start. I imagine we'll be a little bit behind that. North Central's men in its first game as the number one team in the land. A very tight pole, by the way. They'll be taking on Elmhurst at 7.30. Here's Godhart. Jump ball is called, and this time arrow to North Central. Resin tied up Godhart on the way. Three-pointer short. Todd the board. Time running down for North Central. Todd dribbles, bounces to Shoemaker in the lane. Too strong. McMahon with the rebound. McMahon is tied up. McMahon able to feed it ahead. Here comes Godhart cruising on in and fouled from behind. Fiona McMahon with 15 rebounds. Two shots coming for Godhart. It's good. One more, this to make it a nine point game. Three possessions, three threes to be exact, and North Central has hit eight triples today. Inside of a minute. Too much time here for North Central. Stepping out is Johns. She'll drive instead of shoot the three. Murphy nearly walks out to Newson, top of the arc. Three-pointer hit the back of the rim. Backing up on it is Murphy, a fresh 30. But only 32 seconds left. Dribbling out of control, it's Swanson in the lane for Newson. No good. Rebound is loose. Staying with North Central. Shot clock is dark. 25 and 3 tenths to play. And a nine point Elmhurst lead and North Central has taken way too much time here. Elam fails to score. McMahon secures her 16th rebound of the day. Here is Godhart, all alone, up and in. 22 points for Tess Godhart today, 11 point Elmhurst lead. Johns to the basket, scores over the top of McMahon with 7.9. Spencer into McMahon, who can just hang on and let time expire. Spencer awaits, three, turnover. Murphy scores as the buzzer sounds. That'll make the final count 97-88. Make that 97-90 after the basket. A seven point win for Elmhurst to improve to seven and five and open the CCIW portion of the schedule with a victory. That'll put the finishing touches on our broadcast here today. Quite a showing for Fiona McMahon, 36 points and 16 rebounds. My goodness, quite a showing for her. One of the best single game performances in Elmhurst College history as the Blue Jays win by seven. Coming up in a little while, we'll have the men's matchup between Elmhurst and number one ranked North Central. North Central will make its debut as the number one team in the country here tonight. The most recent poll announced just hours ago. We'll have that for you here in a few moments as well. And our next broadcast on Blue Jay TV comes next Saturday or comes next Wednesday 
when Elmhurst welcomes Milliken for a 7.30 contest. For our entire crew here on Blue Jay TV, we'll talk to you in a bit for the men's matchup. I'm Tim Calderwood. Thanks for watching.